Yeah. Great, great, great. Now, now, I was asking how many SIM cards did you find out have been registered with your Ghana card details that do not belong to you? About uh, 10 of them. 10 yeah. SIM cards? 10 SIM cards. Um, five Vodafones and then five MTN. Two different networks? Two different networks. And it was just this afternoon that I found out Vodafone is also having the same issue. But before today, uh, it was only uh, MTN that that was having that uh, that issue. So 10 SIM cards have been registered with your Ghana card detail that does not belong to you, or all those SIM cards exactly. don't belong to you? Yes, I didn't do that. I did not do that. I see. So when yeah. you went to these telcos offices, what did they tell you? I mean, um, what detail did they give you? Yeah, I, I've only went to MTN office. I'm here to go to the uh, Vodafone office. So like I was having challenges with one of my Momo uh, accounts a few weeks ago. So I called MTN customer care and then I was informed they were doing some uh, maintenance. So the issue will be resolved as soon as it is done. Since then, I've been having issues with my network. The other day, uh, my other number was having connection issues. So I went to one of their offices to check what was the cause. It was when that I found out that uh, about five numbers have been registered with my Ghana card without my knowledge. So I tried to uh, buy another SIM to register. The lady told me, uh, I can't do that because I've exhausted the, the 10 number uh, uh, registration limit with my Ghana card and there were something conflicting data issues. I was surprised. I had only registered three SIMs. That is two MTN and then uh, uh, one Vodafone with my Ghana card. As at that time, that was last week, Wednesday, when I went to the uh, uh, office, the office, MTN office. So I queried them. How can my Ghana card be linked to different numbers without my knowledge? In fact, the, the three numbers, I went to the offices to do it by myself. I didn't send anyone. So I was surprised the comment that the lady made concerning that, that, that issue. So um, uh, they, they, they gave me some form to fill. I learned uh, it was a complainant form. So that was um, Thursday, and then they told me that they will call me from their main office, that is from Accra, so that they, they verify whether I am the one that uh, did that uh, complaint for them to delete those numbers from the system. So uh, Friday, I called them myself, and then the lady said, once they have promised to call me, I have to wait for their call until they can do something. So about five minutes later, I received a call from them. And then uh, the person that call asked whether they should still go ahead and delete those numbers. And then I, I gave them the go ahead. So I was supposed to go there yesterday to check uh, whether indeed they have deleted those numbers. But when I went there, there were a lot of queues, so I decided to come back home so that mm -hmm. the next day that is today, I go again. So this morning, I called their customer care to find out whether they have deleted those numbers. And then the attendant told me that they have indeed deleted those numbers. And I asked him, so how many numbers that they have in their system that are linked to my Ghana card right now? And then she told me they have three Ghana, uh, three SIM cards. But the way that the lady was, you know, talking to me, you know, uh, I, I didn't like. So I had a friend who works with MTN, one of their offices, and I called him to check whether what uh, uh, the lady told me is true or not. So uh, he called me and said, hey, Charlie, what work are you doing that, that you are using all these numbers? I was like, ah, work. How many numbers do you see there? It was then that he told me five numbers have been registered uh, with Vodafone lines, and then other five numbers have been registered with MTN 